Hello everyone, I am Chester44, also known as the Lion. Welcome to this Let's Play of War Tales. Last episode, we had another fight that was actually very difficult and almost resulted in Argoon's death. Actually, it did, so I reloaded because these fights are actually getting very, very difficult. We need to get, do other fights in order to level our guys up. But I'm going to do something else before we do. Specifically, we're going to do a, uh, a merchant run. We're going to give that a try. First things first. I'm concerned about the vineyard disease. It's yeah, we can sing a song. Why not? I mean, we have a bard. It'll get us a few coins. Which will help fund the merchant run. There we go. 60 gold. Hey, increase the rewards earned for each song. That's nice. I'm concerned about the vineyard disease. All right, we'll do a rest. It's confined to the truth. Companions are rested. Oh, which one here? Good payer. Rest ten times with no wage left to pay. Okay, that's good. Now then, with that done, let's head to the market. And you. So we've got spices, scrolls, and silver. Uh, let's... Let's buy all the spices here. We'll stick with that for now. These other things would be very expensive. And I want to make sure we're at least getting things back. So... We bought five for fifty, so two hundred and fifty. Let's see what we get when we travel out. And head back to Stromkap. Is it gonna be a bit of a run? Yes, but I think we'll be fine. Then we'll be able to pick resources from there, and bring them back. Which is not the worst thing. Hmm. I wonder if we can actually make it in one run. If so, that would be actually be quite nice. Okay. And we've made it to Tiltrin. We also do need to stop at the forge in uh, the town in Tiltrin in order to get an upgrade that we can get, which will be quite nice. We might want to try making a few more helmets as well. Oh yeah, we can actually do this in one go. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's head into the market. So we sold it for 250. Take a look at my wares. And we get back 285. I mean, that's at least some resources, but it's not anywhere near what I'd hoped. We basically got 35 gold back, which is nowhere near what I'd hoped. You have woolen cloth, pottery, and amber. Eh, fine, take the woolen cloth. We'll sell it, we'll run back and sell it. No big deal. And we can sing in the inn here, get a little extra money. So, want to find out what's...
It's an easy thing. 70, and an eye necklace. Hey. That's something we can sell. Oh yes, and uh, in the forge... You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Okay, leave there. It says to go to the forge here. Also, I guess we probably should make some of these things. I don't think there's any weapons that I need to make that I haven't. Well, aside from things like that. Basically things that would get me uh, knowledge, which I do need some knowledge for some things, but... Yeah, sure. We'll make a... We'll make a hat. There we go, we got a hat. And we gained a knowledge point. Which, actually, I very much wanted. Because now, with this knowledge... Fast training would be good? No. I got all that mutton, we need to cook it. We need to cook the mutton. Alright, and the hat we got? I think Austin Gone could do with the hat. Because, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> nice fancy hat on the bard? Why not? And I suppose... We can go and make a bassinet. Oh, too soon. There we go, bassinet. Uh... Oh, I can hide the helmet if I want. Uh, let's see. You can get one on- oh, what the hell, I'll put this on you. Argoon, though, you can go ahead with the barboot. Kinda makes sense for you. Alright, we'll leave here. Let's cook up all this meat we got. Medium rare mutton. There we go. That's some good meat. And we should probably buy more salt. I don't think there's anything we need to craft here. I mean, I guess a few more bits of rope. Not the worst idea. Anything to dismantle? No, not really. Don't really have anything I want to do here. Mm. Overflowing? Nah, we're fine without. Same with here. Opportunism is actually a good thing to have. Okay. Uh, we should buy some more salt. You touch it, you buy it. Ooh. Oh, wow, that is incredibly cheap. Yeah, buy it all. Very cheap. Um... Come, come. Take a look at my wares. Oh, amber is actually also very cheap. Yeah, sure, we'll buy all the amber. And then we'll sell that, too. We'll make an amount of money. We'll save a bit by, uh, resting on the road and eating some of the food we got. Whew, we almost got very tired. Oh, 
resources here. I didn't even notice those. Mushrooms. Not that mushrooms really matter, but eh. Uh, north. And we're just about able to rest. Okay, let's start the rest. We've made plenty of food. Everyone's in place. What is an undying unit, I wonder? Okay, eight units with a group bearing no equipment. Which is absolutely horrible, I'm not going to try that. And a boar called Hammy and make it kill five units in a single battle. Which is amusing, but we need to find a boar and be able to control it. Okay, so food! Uh, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. Uh, one of those. We should probably make some more, uh, bread. Eh. Some of those, and... The wine. There we go, everyone's happy. And we can- oh, hold on. What do you have to say, Argoon? I won't last long at this rate. My ribs hurt and I still can't see clearly. Leave the group in an awkward silence. Sulky, after a rest, the valor points earned by the troop are reduced by two. Endure, hide your fears to avoid losing the group's trust, or compensate. Demand a raise for the increased risk. Huh. I don't like Sulky. Because the gained valor points help. Endure. Okay, so that's, that's honestly not the worst. They're not quite as happy, but that'll be picked up later. Alright, make our way on. Oop, ran too far. Yeah, those camps are, uh, dangerous, but I'm not gonna try them now. Alright, into Marheim. We have goods to sell! Alright, Marheim. Nope, not the cl not the apothecary, although... Oh, I've missed this shop. Being outdoors is much more exhausting than anticipated. Alright, no, we don't need to deal with you. We want... The market... You has been screaming his head off for days. I am this bought for fifty, sell for fifty-seven. We ended up in the positive, but we need to pay money now. Okay, it's not really as profitable as I thought it would be. It might be better if there are certain towns that want this more than others. Or if we did the more expensive stuff, but no. It's not really worth it. Might you be looking for work? Uh there's a rat infestation we can try. The Tomb of the Ancients we can try to find. I don't think we should do the tomb. The rat infestation would be nice. We'll come back to that. We should uh make our way toward the Ludare gang. And deal with it. Although there is an area to the south that we haven't explored, so let's take a little bit of time to explore this. Next episode, we'll go for the Ludare gang. I mean, hey, we got resources here. Another one of these strange tubers. I could have sworn there was someone who... What was that? That's interesting. 
The old sawmill. We were told about this. Right, we have a mission here. I'm gonna drop a save before we try this. Oh, wait, paths. Discover five locations. Sure, thanks. Okay, let me save. All right, let's take a look at the old sawmill here. There's some wood. There's the hemp. There's hemp in every single area. Okay, let's see. Nino. Hello, mercenaries. Oh, you know who we are. I do. So that whiner ratted us out, eh? We should have slashed her throat when we had a chance. But surely we can come to an agreement. After all, we are all sensible people. How about we pay you off nicely and you let us leave the province unnoticed? The guard will be rid of us, it'll free up more room in the local jail, you'll be rich and we'll be on our way. It's a win for everyone involved, really. I'm gonna need to buy more chains. Capture as many as possible. Fugitives do not tend to return where they came from. They're all level four. Couple poachers, marauders, hoodlums. Let's see. Nino. Hello, Mercy. Oh no, we anyone we talk to when this happens. You off nicely. Hello, Mercy. Yep, anyone. Surely how about we pay you off nicely and you Now we're we're gonna gather a bunch of chains and try to capture them. So we'll come back to you. We'll need to buy some chains. And who are you? We're looking for a woman named Sanka Bell. She owes our client a large sum of money. I hope for her sake she has enough to pay up. She's in so deep she'll be sold off as a slave. Oh dear. Uh, we can persuade? You saw her in Tiltron? Why, that's not what we were told. Thank the eye we bumped into you. Can we gain some raw materials for that? Sure. Was there someone that we had a problem with? Hmm. I honestly can't remember. Hmm. Okay, well, we should, uh, find a place to rest. Alright, we can rest here. Let's see. Nah, uh, the mushrooms and a beer. And pay. And a rest. There we go. Everyone's happy again. And what do we got here? Famous! All right. Let's move on. We paid the money, but we should take care of that quest that we got. And we need to get, uh, we need to get chains. So here's what we'll do. Let's head up to complete this bounty that we got. Seems fine to me. Also, I love that we got all these raw materials. Okay, let's take a look to the north. Oh, what is this? Marheim Castle. Well, this is interesting.
So we've got a forge here. The fact that Lord Old Marheim lets me work here proves just how trustworthy I am. Yeah, very true. We can forge things if we want. I don't have anything I want to forge right now. And we have the castle. You should reconsider my offer. Without our scholars, you are finished. I... Vertruz is nothing without its vineyards. Not only do you risk a peasant uprising, but you could also lose everything you have, including your broker title. In light of your situation, my price is more than reasonable. I am well aware of this, Lady Adra Alazar. But I beg of you, give me more time. The decision must be approved by the Broker Council. As for myself, I am already engaged. My daughter will not wait forever, just as your farmers won't sit idly while their fields with her. You must decide. Hurry, before there are no vineyards left to save. Sounds like politics. Oh, wonderful. Okay, hello, Broker Clemens Aldemarheim. I am sorry, but I do not have time to see you. The scourge raging through our vineyards is taking up all my attention. By the beast's fangs, where is that apothecary? Hmm. The Northern Kingdom's conversion to the worship of the light is nothing more than political hypocrisy. Read. The wayward savant parable from the saga of St. Jeru, verse 27, is very clear on this matter. Slave owners are to be punished as harshly as murderers. Proponents of this vile practice claim that it is condoned by tradition or by the nature of the slaves themselves, who are said to be criminals repaying a debt equal to their crimes. But what crime can justify enslavement? Good to know that slavery isn't approved here. Okay, anyway, as I was doing... Uh, do you merchants have anything of note or value? Uh, that I want. My ways, my good well, you have various food. Oh, beans. But nothing I want. Let's see. North Grinmere region, East Brotherhood Training Grounds, South Marheim Castle. Oh, the Brotherhood Training Grounds are literally right here. Huh, there is no actual hemp here. Brother Hered. We're next. I hope I remember everything. And Sister Adid? My parents lost everything to the vineyard disease. I decided to join the Brotherhood to lighten their burden. But to be honest, it's a bit daunting. And hired goon Emigot. You're not bothering me. I just finished eating my mutton stew. What would you like to work on today? A specific skill? A weapon upgrade? Let's see. Contains knowledge that will allow one of your companions to upgrade one of their class skills. Manual for aim, run, first aid, wrath, and taunt, which are all very expensive and I don't care for any of them. Not sure what the barber kit is for. If we upgrade, we don't have anything we can upgrade. You're not bothering me. Okay, nothing we have over here. But it looks like there's something I can inspect behind there. Okay, some crowns there. And... Some crowns there. It's not much, but I mean it's something. It looks like there's another thing to the north over here. Oh, bandits. I think we can ambush them. Level four. Three hoodlums, three poachers, and two marauders. I think we can take these guys out. They're only level four. This fight will be the last thing for this episode, I say. And we've got them surprised. Moo ha ha. Damage taken increased by 10. All right, so we've got a poacher there. Poacher there. Aren't there three poachers? Ah, right there. Okay, poachers are all around here, so... 
I'm gonna have to have someone go after that marauder. Hmm. So I got one poacher there. Hackard can take care of the other poacher. Let's see. The third poacher. Gurlin I want to take care of. Okay, that marauder. I don't like marauders very much. So... Falai can go after that marauder and get its attention. Fine by me. Then can help out with the other poachers. Let's see. That hoodlum is going to be the first one to go. So, our goon can go attack that hoodlum. Let's see... Rufrus can have fun knocking that hoodlum around. Clestruda can help with this. Okay, our goon is going to go for the Marauder. Clestruda can go for the hoodlum. Or... Will you be able to reach? You can. But Clestruda, if you go in here, you'll be able to attack both of them. At least once. Which I like. You'll be a little surrounded, but you'll be fine. And then we have Ostragon and Alarin, who can help pepper those guys with arrows. Okay, Clestruda, you're up first. Cutting Maelstrom. Very nice. And a maim. Nice hit on that hoodlum. Little stabby, but you'll be fine. Alright, Rufrus. You're gonna have some fun with this hoodlum. Spearwall, he's not coming anywhere near you. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, next we've got... Okay, the first poacher. That's gonna be you, Hackert. Nice hit on the poacher. Next we've got that poacher. Gurlin, that's gonna be you. Yeah, you could get them both, but we gotta have you focused on this. There we go. Poison weapon, not keen. Okay, next we've got the other poacher. Alani, that's your that's your goal here. Nice hit. Okay, next one to go is going to be the Dangerous Marauder. Argoon, that's your goal. Ram him. Very nice. Okay. The Hoodlum will be going next. You'll be distracted. Fly, you head over to here. And a team strike, and when that guy attacks you, he's going to die. You, actually, I think you can finish that guy off. Uh, maybe not quite. Well, maybe. Not quite. Well, you tried. That was a lot of damage. I don't like it. We need to get that dead. We need to get him some help. That'll do. Okay, Marauder is dead. Perfect. 
Okay, Hoodlum is next. We need to finish him, which we can do right now. There, Hoodlum's not a threat. The other one still is. But we can do some damage to him. There we go. You can finish off that hoodlum. Ooh, nice. And we're galvanized. Okay, the poacher's next. I don't care. That poacher's after. Then that poacher. And we can finish off this hoodlum. Do so, please. Nice. Actually, the amount of poison you throw on them is not really pleasant. Okay, Argoon. Let's see if we can finish off this Marauder. In fact, I dare say we can. Very nice. Now we just got a bunch of poachers to deal with. Down goes that one. Uh, yeah, go ahead and flee. We got Outlaw's Barboot, Crowns, and an Amazing Hairbrush. And we found Smot's Arena. Okay, Argoon, you can take a repair. Gurlin, you can also take a repair. And Clastruda, you can also take a repair. Or two. Okay, what is the Outlaw's Barboot? The spikes on this Barboot are not only for show. A good, hel uh, let's see. A good helmeted headbutt can make all the difference against the guard. Bandit's Focus. This unit gains enhanced precision for one round. That's an interesting skill. Guard and armor. Hmm. Not good for you. Argoon? No. Uh, Rufrus. I think that could... Well, actually, if it's critical damage, one of us has a very high crit. Alarin. No, you're a ranger. Hackert? Hackert. Cannot equip medium helmets. So these are medium helmets. So you can wear it, or... I'll give it to you, Harufras. That'll work. Though honestly, I think you look better without the helmet. Alright. And with that... I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. Next episode... Oh, hold on. Paths. Reaper. And we gained a point in the compendium. Mm. It said available at the town's forge, but I didn't find it. I forgot about that. God damn it. Okay, uh... Kind of want to get an improved campfire. I think that would be actually... No, not a campfire cooking pot. That would probably be very nice. We need a lot more uh, iron, but I do like the idea. I don't think there's anything I want to learn here. Experienced helmets. Interesting. But no. Uh... Yeah, I want to learn the cook pot. Save us on more food. We just need a lot more iron ore. But, next episode, I guess we'll be taking a look at Smot's Arena, since it's right here. And then we'll have to head west to find the, uh, the bandits we need to clear out. So what's this arena, I wonder? But we'll find out in the next episode. So until then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Alaren, Alani, Argun, Gerlin, Hackert, Rufrus, Austin Gon, Clestruda, and me. 
This has been a Let's Play of War Tales, and I shall see you all next time.